If you're a vodka drinker and you haven't heard of this brand, where have you been? Honestly, you must be off the planet. Hi everybody, so today I'm going to review the biggest name, I guess, in vodka or the top selling premium vodka in the world, Grey Goose. Grey Goose was created by the Sydney Frank Importing Company in 1997. The idea was to make a luxury vodka for the American marketplace. However, they chose to create a vodka in France because they wanted something to differentiate them from all these Eastern Bloc country vodkas that were out on the market. They decided to partner with a cognac producer by the name of Francois Thibault. Francois then diversified his skills from making fine cognac to a premium vodka that they wanted to make the best vodka in the world. Incredibly, this was actually achieved within a year, when in 1998 it was named the best tasting vodka in the world. This was awarded by the Beverage Tasting Institute and believe it or not, within that first year, it became the biggest selling premium vodka in the United States and sold 1.5 million cases. Now I've been lucky to meet Francois a few years ago pre-COVID. I was sent up to Sydney to have dinner with him uh, with a few other bar owners and when speaking to Francois it's crazy to to think that although it was so quickly that they become the the biggest selling premium vodka in the world it wasn't a fad it was the reason that they had a premium process of production the grain that they use to make Grey Goose is a soft winter wheat grown in Picardy now this is a grain that is categorized as superior bread making wheat. It's not just normal wheat, this is what you find that a lot of the patisseries and bread makers and croissant makers throughout France use. The water source comes from a natural spring. This has been filtered through hundreds of feet of limestone in cognac. They also use a five column continuous still to distill the spirit. The spirit then is diluted down with water, filtered a few times and bottled at 40% ABV. Believe it or not, Grey Goose actually has 500 quality checks from the wheat fields to bottling. So how does it taste? Now on the nose I'm getting grain, a hint of almond, coconut, cracked pepper. It's very clean to taste. It's got a, like a, a nice silky sweetness to it. A hint of star anise, a really nice sort of creamy mouthfeel. It's a really nice tasting vodka and I know a lot of people think that vodka tastes like nothing. That is not true. No vodkas taste the same. And this is definitely one of my favorite vodkas on the market. I remember speaking to Francois about it and he said that when he visited bars across America when they launched this vodka, a lot of the bartenders would ask how much sugar did you add to it. He was actually offended by that because obviously he hasn't added any sugar to it, but uh, that just goes to show how well this vodka's made. It's got this really nice sort of sweet silkiness to it. It's got a medium bodied finish to it. As I said, silky, a really sort of nice hint of vanilla in there, that citrus, that creaminess. I'm a massive fan. How do I drink Grey Goose? I think the best way is to drink it chilled down, neat. You could drink it on ice, however, I would suggest that you do that on a big block of ice so it doesn't totally dilute down this vodka. Goes really well in a vodka martini, goes well in pretty much any cocktail that you want to make that's a vodka base. I recently made a fizz with it that had some Saint Germain elderflower liqueur to it. Extremely versatile. I hope you enjoy this vodka. Guys, please like, subscribe, comment below. Do you like Grey Goose Vodka or is there another vodka that you'd like me to do a review? See you again soon and let's talk drinks.